You know me, always reversing. Welcome to another Daisy Pets video. If you are new here, we blog about all things dog and living with a dog in New Zealand. So this is actually me filming in the present and this was whole vlog was filmed in the past but I think I needed to give some context. So this first kind of intro makes sense so enjoy. Hello so we are just out here at the Waitahinga Trails. Definitely didn't pronounce that right but what I might do when I get home mum and her boyfriend were at home and she's actually taking a language course for the whole year and he can speak fluent Maldi. So I'm going to ask them actually how to pronounce it because I don't think Waitahinga is right and it sounds like I've whitened that up a lot. But anyway, we're here. We've done this walk a couple of times. Um, it was actually the hike that we lost Ollie and Diego on a couple years back. So I'm not going to let the dogs off, but here we are. So I just thought I would bring the camera along to get some video. I didn't bring my actual camera because I'm just wanting to sort of be away from that. Like I don't want to do it every time I walk so this one's just going to be me and the dogs and maybe some video. But if there's not much that's why. This is probably about 45 minutes out from Wanganui but it's always empty which is great. That's how I like my trails. Apart from it's hunting here, so that's why the dogs should be on leash because otherwise they're going to chase something. Speaking of dogs, here they are. They're just chilling, waiting while I put on my boots. So, yeah. Lookout, which is the real painted lookout, which actually has a much nicer like sitting area. And so here you can see. I don't know where Rua Pehu is actually meant to be though. Definitely can't see it. And I think last time we came, we didn't see it either. So I've learned a couple of things. This track has a lot of checkers. Just to look at it, a lot of grass seeds. Um, we're staying here, Diego. And I think it's annoying Chico. There was also barbed wire across the track that Diego got stuck on. So I'm just going to check him out to make sure nothing bad happens. It just means that once I get back to the car, I'm going to give them a full like brush down with the towel and stuff to get all those seeds off. Another thing I've learnt, Chico pretends to be so useless, but he's actually very agile. He was jumping the logs and everything on our walk. I don't know if the camera caught it, but he was. So, yeah. Good boy. His feet are looking a bit red, but I don't know if they were already red. Uh, that's the problem with Chico. He's always got injuries. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to rest here. I've got like an apple to eat. I might do a little drawing and then we'll head to the next lookout and then back down. It doesn't take long. When I walk alone, I walk really fast. This crew is only like 10 minutes. I'm also going to get the dogs a drink. You won't be able to hear it on camera, but there's like a goat or a sheep or something like barring down in the gully down there, and it suddenly piqued Chico's interest enough to stand even on his sore foot. By the way, it seems like he's hurt his foot, but he's a baby and does that all the time. So we're just going to get back to the car and hopefully it will sort itself out on the way home. But we've just had a snack, and I think we're going to take the rest of the trip home now. So nice just sitting here and looking like and just appreciating all this like natural space. I don't know what to say on this because it's really upset me but 
what's happened in Christchurch is really like haunting me because it's just so scary to think that someone's got those thoughts on a race of people or a um, religion and like blaming all the world hit problems on Muslims and even though these ones are innocent to kill them and their children and their families it's at a time of prayer when they are at most vulnerable is disgusting like the idea that they're in like a meditative prayer state where they are sort of I don't know definitely at their most vulnerable and this person goes in and shoots them while in that state and knowingly does it it's he knows that a Friday is the time that they most likely will be there and that the time of day that they'll be there and it's just disgusting and I just don't know what to think or say about it and I'm scared of copycats and I'm scared for New Zealand and the world and everyone's saying that New Zealand's such a peaceful country and it shouldn't be done here but it shouldn't be done anywhere and I just I feel so horrible for Muslims and for anyone that wears a headscarf or has a religion that isn't Christianity or Catholic that's like the right or like I don't know it's just scary to think racism is still that prevalent and I don't know I'm very sad about it and I'm just scared for people and for the world so yeah Diego's now eating the grass So I just thought I'd come out here a little bit away from society to regroup because I was already having a bad week, a bad month, a bad year, whatever. Um, and then hearing this and hearing the tragedy, it's just really made me just frightened and upset and hurt and angry and all the rest. But I just needed a breather, so to come out here is really to sort of ground me. And I just need to re remember what I'm doing here and it just brings into things like the whole purpose of being alive and why are we here and I don't know I don't know what I'm even saying anymore but I hope you understand and I just hope all those rest in peace and their families find some sort of something I don't know at their face and all this shit and Diego <laughs> the same so what we're going to do is take off the majority of them stay take the majority of them off with like the towel and grabbing it and then when I get home I'm also going to just brush them especially Diego because you can't see them in his fur as much <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh goodness. After that hike I went home, brushed off the dogs, hung out and then the next day we headed off to the beach. The dogs, I thought I filmed more of the dogs at the beach but I only got these two really shaky clips. I vaguely in my brain remember videoing them like running off leash and all that because they did run off leash a lot like they were playing the whole time Chico was playing, everyone was playing. And so I'm not exactly sure if I just didn't press play or like what happened there, but I don't have any footage of that. So here are the two clips that I got from the beach. Oh, oh my
Beach to Animates to get a wash. Now we are cheap and we only want to pay one ten dollar for all three dogs. So it's always kind of a little bit of a rush and it's crazy to wash the dogs. So I thought I'd film it and it's actually quite cool.